How's it going guys? Glenn here with Reset You Fitness and in this video I'm gonna take small sips of this window cleaner to show you how we gain weight as we age and how it flies in the face of everything you've been told. And stick around because I have a solution for you. But first, you probably think that you gain weight because maybe because you're old or maybe because you're lazy and you don't hit the gym or maybe because you eat too much food. But as crazy as this sounds, me taking in this Windex, which is pretty crazy, it would be even crazier to think that you're gaining weight because you're getting older, right? You think your metabolism just mysteriously slows down? Or maybe you've seen hunter-gatherer tribes on National Geographic and they're not overweight. None of those people are obese, but they're 60, 70 years old. So it can't be that. And maybe you think it's because you don't work out enough. Maybe because you're not active enough. Maybe these kids are overweight because they're playing video games. But Americans work out more on average than any other country in the world. 135 times per year, according to the New York Times. The next closest is 112. So we're kicking the world's butt at working out. But we're still the most overweight nation in the world. In fact, the United States in the year 2014, according to the CDC, was 66.6% .6 overweight. So if we're all overweight, but we're all trying to get healthy, we're all dieting, we're all exercising, what is the problem? And here's the thing. This window cleaner may not hurt me in small amounts, right? Ugh. A little bit isn't going to hurt me. And, you know, I could probably take in a, a pretty good amount before I get sick. And I don't really know how much of this I could take in before I actually feel something or before it starts to affect me. But sooner or later, we both know it's poisonous. It's going to affect me sooner or later. And you're probably thinking in your head right now. Dude, what are you doing drinking Windex? I cannot believe you're drinking that poisonous substance that we hide from children and drinking a lot of it. But the point of this is to show you that a little bit of poison doesn't do much damage. But what's, let's just say hypothetically, I was to spray this in my mouth once per day, every single day. Do you think something would happen? What if I just took a shot like I just did before? How many of these shots do you think it would take before I started to feel sick? If I took a shot every morning, I'd probably survive, right? But I wouldn't feel that good. How much poison do you think it would take for me to not feel well? Now, I don't have a lot of time because I probably need to get to a hospital to get my stomach pumped. But here's the thing. Processed foods. It's poisonous to our bodies. Processed sugar, it's poisonous to our bodies. If you're like me, you were raised on hot dogs and macaroni and cheese, which is poisonous to our bodies. And we don't think it's that big of a deal. McDonald's, fast food, even canola oil, which is cooked in every single restaurant you're gonna get. Even if you get a chicken salad in a restaurant, it's cooked in canola oil, poisonous to our bodies. And what happens, is year after year, that damage gets worse. And our immune system function starts to attack this. And that's why we get bloated and gassy and feel gross. And it also destroys our metabolism, slows it down drastically. So you may think it's because we age that our metabolism slows down. And in all reality, it's just more years of compound damage that gets worse ugh, and worse and worse and worse and worse. And that's why we get fat. It's because our body no longer functions correctly. Because every year that's gone by, you're poisoning it with things that aren't food. Go look at a typical grocery store. 
how much of that food is from a box? How much of it is actual food that you would give a human? Think about this. If you got a dog, what do you think is healthy for that dog? You know, maybe kibble. But if you looked at the ingredients in kibble, it's terrible, right? A lot of the stuff that we consume on an American diet isn't healthy for us. And year after year, it gets worse. And it may not hit you at age five. It may not hit you at age 15. It may not hit you at age 25. But sooner or later, that compound damage adds up. And your body can't take it anymore. And your metabolism drastically slows down. Now, if you want to reset your metabolism, you have to get rid of the inflammation. Now, at Reset You, we've actually mastered this. We've reset autoimmune disorders, which is basically just inflammation on a higher scale. We've reset people's thyroids, which are busted from inflammation. We've gotten rid of gassing, bloating, gut issues, all kinds of this stuff that all come from inflammation. If you are dealing with any of these symptoms, right, your body's hot, you have trouble losing weight, you get red and flush whenever you eat food, you get gassy and bloated all the time, and you have trouble focusing. Those are all key signs that your body is inflamed. If you want to fix it and reset it, what we want to do with you is help you out and give you the exact plan that we give to all of our clients to help them reset their hormones and their busted metabolism, get rid of inflammation on this cleanse. Now, all you got to do is click the link above my head and one of us here at Reset You will get on a 30-minute phone call with you where we will dial you in 100% specifically to you. Help you out for free. It won't cost you anything. Obviously, there's a selfish reason for it because if we help you out and you get results, you're probably going to tell your friends and tell them, you know what, those nice guys at Reset You, they fixed my bloating problem the next couple days after they gave me that meal plan. I felt amazing. And I was dropping calories. I was dropping body fat, <laughs> eating more calories. Or, you know, maybe you're a good fit for one of our Reset You programs and we take over the entire program for you and help you out that way. Either way, we win. Now guys, if this brought you value, make sure you share it. And then, um, as for this Windex, I spent about two hours cleaning this bottle out so I could fill it with Powerade Zero. Which is funny because we're over here talking about inflammation, right? So if you're still watching, Powerade Zero has sucralose in it, which is actually inflammatory in small doses and in big doses, it can cause a lot of damage. So I actually, I mean, I mean, I may not have drinking Windex for you to prove a point, but I did drink a lot of Powerade Zero for you, which has sucralose in it and causes a lot of damage. So I drank a lot of it. I did that for you. You're probably thinking like, damn, it's Powerade Zero. I drink like five of those a week. Who cares? I ate six monsters a week. Think about how much damage your body has. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, sucralose isn't good for you. This is, I, I literally put my life on the line for you guys. You're welcome. Also wasted a whole bottle of Windex for this. If you're still watching this and you haven't clicked the link yet, you might as well just share it. I mean, it's awesome info. I'll see you guys later. still here. Listen, if you enjoyed this video, just click the link and we'll get we'll get on a call and we'll we'll fix your meal plan. Have a good day.